So from this lecture, we're going to start Redux. So what is Redux? Redux is used mostly for application state management. To summarize it, Redux maintains the state of an entire application in a single immutable state tree, or you can say in an immutable state object, which can't be changed directly. Context API and Redux have the same concept. They help us to store the state in a container, or you can say in a store. Building Redux is entirely different from the Context API. So let's first understand how Redux work in the React application. So how Redux work? The way Redux works is simple. There is a central store that holds the entire state of your application. Each component can access the store state without having to send down props from one component to another. There are main three building parts of the Redux. Action, Store, and Reducer. Let's briefly discuss what each of them does. So let's start with the action. Action are event. They are the only way you can send the data from your application to the Redux store. In Redux, you send the data to the store using an action event. The data can be from user interaction, API calls, or even from form submissions. Action are sent using the store dispatch method. Action must also have a payload that contains the information that should be worked on by the action. Actions are created by an action creator. For example, to create an action, you just simply create a simple JavaScript object. And inside that object, you have a type of action and a payload. You first specify which type of action you are creating. You can notice here, we are creating a type of create action. And in the payload, we pass the data we want to send to the store. We specify the type, object, and then pass the payload. Payload is just the information we pass to the store when the create event happen, or you can say when the create action happen. Just out of that, we have a reducer. So let's see what reducer is. Reducer are pure functions that take a current state of an application, performs an action, and return a new state. These states are stored as an object and they specify how the state of an application changes in response to an action sent to the store. Basically, reducer takes the current state of the application and as a second parameter, it takes an action and then return a new state. Understanding how reducer work is important because they perform most of the work. So let's see how to create a reducer. To create a reducer, we simply create a function. You can create a function with a function keyword as well or you can create a variable and then pass arrow function to it. Here I created a variable reducer and pass an arrow function to it. Inside this arrow function, I have two parameters, state and action. And then I just return updated state to the reducer function. Reducer is a pure function. We're not going to use any external value inside of the reducer. That is why we call it pure function. When the action is triggered, we call the reducer of that action and return the initial or the updated state depending on the condition we have in the reducer. Right now you can notice inside the reducer, we are returning the updated state. Next we have store. So what is store? Store holds the application state. Inside the store, Redux will store all your state data. It is highly recommended to keep only one store in any Redux application. In the store, you can access the state stored, update the state and register or unregister the listener via the helper method. Let's see how to create a store. To create a store, you can just simply create a variable store and then call a function create store. We get this function from the Redux library. So before we add this function, we need to import the Redux library inside the file and import this create store function from it. And then we can use this function to create a new store. Action perform on the state always return a new state. So these are three important concepts of Redux. There have been other important concepts as well in Redux. We will look at that step by step. If you want to know more about Redux, head on to redux.js.org. And from this website, you can get more information about Redux. So in our theory, next we are going to take a look at how to create a store, reducer, and action in Redux.